Hello Canada has just unveiled their 50 most beautiful list for 2014 and no surprise this year Ryan Reynolds takes the cover. Ryan Reynolds was Ryan. all over Khan with his beautiful wife, Blake Lively. He chats to us about how he feels about being a Hollywood heartthrob. Ryan Gosling also making the list. The actor just made his directorial debut at Cannes. The new face of Hockey Night in Canada, George Strombolopoulos, is also among the top 50. The photo that we actually have in the magazine, George took himself. You can catch George on City when Rogers' NHL coverage begins this fall. Other City Star favorites making the cut include Seeds Amanda Bruegel and Package Deals Julia Vaughn. We also have our brand new bachelor, Tim Warmels, who's uh, freshly anointed, and we can't wait to see him uh, on TV in September. Flair's June cover star Ellen Page is on Hello's list, too, as are Canuck musicians from Drake to Shania Twain to rocker couple Chad Kruger and Avril Lavigne. Hello's most beautiful issue hits new stands today. And they're off. The Royals wrapping up their Canadian tour, but not before a busy day in Winnipeg. Our Natalie Geddes has the details. Well, first, I want to tell you quickly about something the Royal Press told me they had never seen before. And it happened as the Royal Motorcade moved past a group of women blowing kisses here in Winnipeg. Well, it, here's the weird thing. It stopped and it moved back. The window came down and Charles popped his head out and told them thank you. Charles in particular is, is always very engaged and very engaging with the crowds and with whomever he meets. You know, it was a royal tour made up of moments like that. Now it all wrapped up in Winnipeg. Yesterday, several hundred people out. They were people like mothers who remember actually seeing the royals when they were a child, now out with their own children and excited to uh, hope that maybe these children will go and uh, do the same when the royal visit comes back to Canada. Tomorrow marks the start of the Kim Ye wedding festivities, and right now in Italy, preparations are well underway. Kim Kardashian is almost ready to walk down the aisle again. Workers are getting down to business, setting up at Fort di Belvedere in Florence, where the lavish sunset ceremony will take place on Saturday. But, of course, the two-day affair starts in Paris tomorrow. And sounds like Jay-Z and Rachel Roy are both on the guest list, which could be a problem considering the designer's alleged flirtations at a Met Ball after party led to this infamous elevator fight between Jay and his sister-in-law, Solange. Will there be drama on Kim Ye's big day? Only time will tell. Are we to destroy each other, or can we change who we are? Time is getting a twist in X-Men Days of Future Past. The the latest flick in the franchise sees generations collide as Hugh Jackman's Wolverine goes back in time to alter history. Tell whoever it was that sent you that I'm busy. The person who sent me was you. Sir Ian McKellen reprises his role as Magneto. It was a reunion of, uh, of old friends and there were so many uh, X-Men there and I was there twice as it were. Mike, Michael Fassbender plays um, my character Magneto as a younger man. It's good to take the two of us side by side at the time when we couldn't be further apart. The action-packed movie was filmed in Montreal, the fourth X-Men edition to be filmed in Canada. They're Canadian movies, really, the X-Men movies. X-Men Days of Future Past, it's theaters tomorrow. I'll be checking out. Will you just tweet us at N-City? Oh.